viewers, you are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news, such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Um, viewers, you are welcome to today's um, trending news, and the headline is why Namde Kanu may be the next Nigerian president in 2023. Before I proceed, please don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell button to get updated anytime we upload new videos. The news and details. I often laugh when people talk about possible 2023 presidential candidates without mentioning the name Namdi Kano. It is true that the pro Biafra leader has been fighting for the emancipation of Biafra, but that fight has been because he thinks the ego are not getting fat chances in Nigerian politics. Permit me to ask, did Nnamdi Kano ever contest election and loss? The answer is no. Let me remind us that we are one Nigeria. If a worthy Igbo presidential candidate with good records contests for presidency in 2023, well-meaning Nigerians will gladly vote. Bola Tinubu has not publicly declared his candidacy, yet people are already campaigning for him ahead. Namdekano can equally do the same. Apart from Namdekano, we have the likes of Rochas Okoracha, Rotimi Amechi, and other Eagles with good records who could contest in 2023 election and Nigerians with votes. It's obvious that Atiku Abubakar may want to contest a second term, but that is left for Nigerians to decide with their votes card. Atiku Abubakar was the vice president to President Olusegun Obasanjo. He did well in office and can equally do the same again. I believe I've mentioned possible candidates from the three major ethnic groups in Nigeria, which are Atiku Abubakar, Bola Tinubu, Rotimi Amechi, Rochas Okorocha, and Namdi Kano. Finally, I urge fellow Nigerians to embrace unity and stop clamoring for division Please be reminded that if Igbos provide a suitable candidate, when many Nigerians will vote. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, I will say this and I will say it outrightly. Yes, Namdi Kano may have a very good record. He may have an outstanding record to be a leader of Nigeria, to be a president. But one thing I know Namdi Kano is he will never and will not even want to go in for that position. Namdi Kano is a true Igbo man. He's a real Igbo man. He will not want to st stop his fellow Igbo at the back. This is a struggle that he has he has begun on and started from the beginning and definitely he has sacrificed a lot for this struggle. So why now I don't think he will go in support for this pursuit. So whoever that wants to go in for presidency can go in. What Namdi Kano wants is Biafra, and that he has been pursuing. Biafra has gotten to 
the height of height of its actualization. So I don't see reason why Namdi Kano will still want to go for presidency. Nigeria should forget about go um or, or, or forget about uh, inviting Mazen Namdi Kano because the proscribed leader has done so much for this actualization. He has sacrificed so much. He has gone so far for this actualization. Lives has got as 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 um, as 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 um, be taken. He he has lost his parents in this struggle. He has lost friends, relatives. So why will he want to now go for this for this pursuit? So Nigeria should just forget about it. If it is one of the means Nigeria will want to use in denying Biafran of this struggle, I will say to Nigerians to just forget about it. Because I know that the proscribed leader, Mazin and the Kanu, will not go for this. Biafra is known all over the world already. Biafra is already recognized in the whole world. International countries, international organizations are already uh, are already subscribing to the republic. So Nigerians should go on with their politics and put Biafra behind. For the presidency position, Tunubu can go in for if he really wants to. Atiku can go in if he really wants to. Whoever that is interested can go in. Even the uh, some egos which I know are, are backstabbers, are backstabbers can go in if they really want to, and put Biafran aside. Biafran is a republic of its own, and the actualization is already at the doorstep. Mazen Nambekano is a, a leader, a representative, and a, the mouthpiece of, of Biafran. Look at what uh, the, the, the impact he has made in the international country. Look at the, the, um, the contributions. Look at the recognitions. Look at the position he's already occupying in the international country. So um, Nigerian calling him or trying to entice him with um, presidency seats or asking him to come and be one of the um, most important personality in Asarok is uh, totally out of it because Moon and the Kano will not and will not subscribe to that fact. He will not subscribe to that fact. Or if Nigerian is trying to use that to entice him and distract him from, from pursuing the struggle, I will say to Nigerian that Nigerian should just forget about it because the proscribed leader has already gone far for this struggle. You can see how uh, you can see how uh, other 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 leaders of like um, the person of Wazuriki and other people who have been uh, pursuing this struggle from um, from the beginning. You can see the level they pursue it to, but they were unable to achieve it up to the level that Mazen the Kano um, uh, is able to achieve it. So. I can say this to be our friends, not to worry themselves because the leader will never subscribe to this. I know Nigeria and their tactics. I know Nigerians and their system. First, it was Mama Buhari who said that uh, he has, who was, who, who was revealing his plans, the plan, his plans for Nigeria, for Nigeria in the, in the, uh, uh, this year, this year 2020, promising that he's going to make sure he completes all the federal projects in the eastern part of Nigeria within four years. Who is he trying to fool? The, um, the second person is Gowon, who is saying that, uh, uh, that yes, that uh, Igus are the owners of Nigeria. My dear people, all of these people, they are just distractors. 
they are just distracted. They are just trying to distract their friends from 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 pursuing this their objectives. I will say this: their friends are go setters and they are focused minded people they are people who have already um, decided and their decision is final so nigerians should give all of those this all of those um, stories to whoever that cares to to hear because biafran biafrans are already uh, focused and they know what they want and they have um, and they are already going for it. So please, I don't know what your own comments concerning this news may be. Whatever it is, please don't forget to leave, click um, and, and leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated anytime we upload new videos. Thank you.